Hello everyone, this is Bamadele from Delara Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at how to create a login application. In my previous uh, tutorial, where I explained in details on how to create a registration page. That's how to uh, register uh, a user. You know, the registration interface was created in my previous tutorial. If you've not uh, laid your hands on that particular uh, tutorial, I would like you to do that before coming over to this uh, lesson. Actually, I'll brush you through what we've done and I move on from where it stopped. Uh, in my PHP, my admin, where we have our database called Retrieve Data and um, the table called Volley, where we have four fields, the ID, the username, password, and email in which uh, we did uh, an interface, a front-end interface in our Android application on how to uh, register a user, taking in cognizance the ID, username, password, and email. But now we are going to move a step further on how to log in you know, using MySQL, PHP as the, uh, uh, the backend uh, programming language to create the APIs that is going to help us to do this. So I'll go straight to the, uh, the login PHP this time, not the user registration that we did earlier on. So the login PHP uh, using my brackets, IO, this is the code for the login PHP. I'll take a run down of this. Uh, we have the same request method post, which is post the username and the password this time as uh, the two variables calling on the uh, passed in username and password from the front end. We also need the required ones, which is the DB Connect, which is very important. This is going to bind us, it's going to let us have access to our database. Uh, we executed a query here. We select all from volley where the username is the passing username from the imputed uh, text field and the password also is the passing password from the text field. Okay, the result is going to, you know, we're going to call on the MySQL query, which is going to make the connection of the database to the SQL query being initialized. So we're going to fetch an array. Definitely, it's my comment, an array holding on the result uh, variable, you no. Know? So we're going to set a check on this, whereby we're going to echo success if it's successful or echo failure if we get a failure or uh, login. So I would like us to look at the Java codes, which is going to, we're going to use our Android Studios to develop this. So it's going to be uh, a sort of like, uh, let me say, an improvement to the previous lesson because we're still going to use most of its functionalities from the user registration uh, Java classes. So I will go to my Android Studios where we have our main activity, which is actually from uh, the previous lesson or let's say the previous application because this is an extension of the previous application. We are still maintaining all the methods that we used. Now we're going to focus more on the onClick, you know, which is holding on to the button login. This is going to start another activity. You know, an intent to start another activity class, which is called the login activity class. It takes us down to the login activity class. Uh, this login activity class uh, it's, uh, extends the app compact activity and also implements the view on click listener, whereby we have the login URL, the key username, and the key password, just like the, uh, the previous one. But this time we're going to uh, call on the edit text username, the edit text password. We only need the username and the password this time. And also the login button, which is right beneath it. I'm going to take you through the uh, XML that actually created this layout or this uh, logic. Okay, we're going to set an on-click list now to our button login. Uh, that is a private void user login, which can only be called from this particular class, uh, whereby the username, uh, we have the text username, we get the text and also try to trim it out that's the way we trim the registration. We also do that for the password. And we call on a string request to actually test this with our DB. You know, so we're able to know if this correlates with the particular data on the database. You no, know, this is just what this chunk of stuff is doing. 
and also we have our mapping uh mapping the username and the password in particular okay also afterwards after this our uh, login has been successful we're going to open a profile a profile a, an open profile method it's going to call an intent so we're going to use another class probably after the login has been successful a java class is going to run afterwards which is called the activity user profile so uh that leads us down to like activity user profile but before i go to the activity user profile i would like us to get the layout of this particular uh, interface the activity main also stands as it was from the previous uh, uh android application but the only inclusion is the uh, extra button that sits below the button register the extra button actually holds on to the login you know so that we can have a an, uh, a login button from the register so if you register you can easily click on your login button and get yourself logged in so afterward what's the activity login which is which is the layout of the login uh interface which has the text view enter your username the edit text which is uh the field to enter your new username with the id called edit text username and also a text field for the password and also an edit text for the password so we have a button login whereby an on-click listener is being attached to it in our login activity. So let me quickly take a rundown on the activity user profile, which has the support of the activity user profile XML. You know, after the login has been successful, this is a separate page that loads immediately. The login gets uh, done. So this calls on the layout, the activity user profile, which I'll go through in the Chiffy. But uh, what I want us to see here is that definitely the intent that the intent has been passed, but there's a text view which has been set as a welcome message to the screen. So this welcome message is going to grab the username and spit it out to the uh, screen. So let us look at the activity user profile that starts as, as the layout of the activity user profile Java class. Okay, this only has a text view which is going to hold the welcome message. Uh, this is a high level rundown of this application. I will upload this source code to my GitHub account for you to pick it up, use it. This is highly comprehensive. This is an extension to the uh, to the previous registration uh, the registration page. You know, is, we, we actually added a login to this, so we have the registration and also a login activity. Let me launch this in my Genymotion emulator and let's see it how it actually sits. Okay. Like to bring my journey motion to focus. Okay. Back my journey motion to focus. There is one aspect of the API that I would like to explain briefly after the test of the application. I just don't want my viewers to miss any step from this. Okay, now you have the ability to register and also log in. Okay, based on the APIs being uh, given from the uh, why let's let's take the main activity which is the register um, API, which actually calls on my uh volley register php that i talked in my pre first uh lesson on on integration of login so this volley register actually calls or makes uh, the registration happen and also the login activity api is actually calling on the login.php which i actually explained not far long okay i will make a run a text run on this but majorly we are going to talk about our login because we've not done the register in our previous lessons okay let me click on my login active my login button to call on my login activity class if you can see right now on your screen so in my db i have a username called bab delay okay and also a password one two three four okay i would like to log in into this application with 
these details. So let's see what happens. All right, what happened? There is a user profile uh, layout XML that came out with, which calls on the text view that IX talked about calling welcome the user Bami Daily. Okay, with this, uh, uh, let's say Android application is just uh, an introductory aspect of the login aspect and the registration aspect of Android. You can as well add a lot of functionalities. You can use a spinner, you can use uh, uh, a login catcher. You can improve on these, you know, but this is just the basic, uh, this is the fundamental of how to create a login interface despite the fact that you have your data hosted on the server using a web service API, constructing our backend. We've done a lot. We construct our backend using the PHP and also calling uh, our data with MySQL and also ripping all these into JSON and calling these using our the Voli, the Voli library, you shouldn't forget that. Voli actually assists us in this HTTP, HTTP connection. So without Voli, we could not have been able to have a slick run between communicating from the front end, which is the client, to the back end, which is the server. I hope with this uh, explanation, you should be able to get yourself really with this application. You should be able to use it in the course of your lesson or in the course of building your own custom-made application. Thank you very much. If you are getting confused in any way, please feel free to leave a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you. Bye-bye. Take care.